Welcome to Daily Devotions for Tuesday, October 27th. Well, uh, we are one week away from our national and state elections, and um, uh, I, just about everybody I've talked to today has that on their mind, whether they're a member of our church or even the countless people that are uh, driving by here wondering if the polling place is open. Um, it, it made my mind jump uh, to um, maybe I need a time of prayer. Uh, and so I'm, I'm going to invite you in to join me for that today. I want to start off by uh, reading just a section here out of Psalm 33. Uh, and um, uh, let's listen a little bit. Your will, O Lord stands fast forever, and the designs of your heart from age to age. Happy is the nation whose prayer is the Lord. Happy is the people chosen to be God's heritage. The Lord looks down from the heavens and sees all humankind. One of the things that I noticed when I was... Um, living overseas was uh, how important uh, an American election was, not just for the American people, but that we were uh, choosing, in fact, the leader of, if not the most, certainly one of the most powerful countries in the world. And uh, the rest of the world was waiting with bated breath as uh, we made our decision. I thought it might be good to look at uh, a place to look at prayers for our country and uh, went no further than looking at our own hymn book. So I'm going to read um, five different prayers for you and after each one, uh, invite you to take a little bit of time for yourself uh, to pray for part of this. So let's begin. Our first one is a prayer for peace. Oh God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single peace. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wraths and sorrows and give peace to your church, church, peace among the nations, peace in our homes, peace in our hearts, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite you now uh, to take a little time uh, of quiet prayer for peace for our country. The second prayer is called uh, for national distress. And of course, I'm thinking about uh, the pandemic going on. Eternal God, amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In times of danger and trouble, be to us a sure guardian and a rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation with your wisdom. Comfort those in distress and grant us courage and hope to face the future. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. Amen. Please take time to pray uh, for our nation uh, during this pandemic. Here is uh, a prayer directly for our nation. Almighty God, you have given us this good land and our heritage. Make us always remember your generosity and constantly do your will. Bless our land with honesty in the workplace, truth in education, honor in daily life. Save us from violence discord and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil course of action. When times are prosperous, let our hearts be thankful. And in times of trouble, do not let our trust in you fail. We pray 
in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite you to pray uh, for the strength and health of this country. Now we're going to pray for our own state of Arizona. Almighty God, we lift before you all who govern in this state of Arizona. May those who hold power understand that it is a trust from you to be used, not for personal glory or profit, but for the service of the people. Drive from us cynicism, selfishness, and corruption. Grant in your mercy just and honest government. And give us grace to live through together in unity and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And once again, I invite you to pray this time for the state of Arizona. Finally, uh, this is a prayer for responsible citizenship. Yes, so I'll close it's a prayer for ourselves. So let us pray. Lord God, you call your people to honor those in authority. Help us to elect trustworthy leaders, participate in wise decisions in our common life, and serve our neighbors in local communities. Bless the leaders of our land that we may be at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other nations of the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us pray for ourselves now as citizens of this country. Remember to keep that prayer coming. I think we all feel the need for it. Uh, and let it be coming from our hearts. And may God find us in this time uh, remaining faithful and trusting in the power of God to deliver that in which we call God to give us a good and righteous nation.